Good morning, everyone. I'm speaking to you from our home in Sunnyvale. At this time, it's very difficult for us to gather together because of the uh, situation, and so I'm hoping that we'll be able to communicate uh, through video. Today would have been our celebration of Ohigan, the spring equinox. And I want to wish everyone a uh, wonderful Ohigan. It's the beginning of spring. The trees are starting to bloom. The sun is out. It's neither hot, too hot nor too cold. And it's kind of an exciting time as spring brings about new life and new changes. And I think about doing a lot of things when spring comes. Working in the garden, cleaning out the garage, doing other projects. But being a good time to do things and good weather also means it's a time for us to work on being a better human being. What does that mean to be a better human being? It means to truly know who we are and know our connection to the world around us. And especially at a time during Ohigan, it's a time for us to become more aware of our connection to nature. Daniel Shoning, one of our great uh, religious leaders, once on a bright sunny day was walking through the hallways of the temple. He came across a discarded piece of paper that had been crumpled up and thrown into a corner. He stopped suddenly, picked up the paper, and held it up with his eyes and declared, even this piece of paper belongs to the Buddha Dharma. In those days, paper was very expensive, it was hard to come by, and it was considered very valuable. For us today, paper is taken for granted. However, we do have things in our life that are very valuable. What would you say if you saw someone throwing something valuable away in the garbage? For example, a cell phone or a laptop. What do your parents say or someone say to you when you don't eat all your food or when you just throw it away? In Japanese, there's a term called motainai. We translate this into English as being wasteful. However, the meaning is much deeper than that. Motainai means that we are receiving something that has taken great effort, that has taken many, many causes and conditions for us to receive it. A lot of words that we use in Japanese have Buddhist content. And these words come from India, they come from China, they come from Japan, and now we use them here in the United States. I'm sure everyone knows who Herbert Hoover was, President of the United States, and he visited Japan many, many times. He said if there's one thing American people can learn from the Japanese, it is the idea of motainai. And what does this mean? Motsu means negative, tai means body, and nai means not. It's not that it doesn't have a body. It's an affirmation of life, of a unique life. Motainai means that everything has a life of its own, even a piece of paper. There's a very famous story in Buddhism about a young boy who was a novice monk by the name of Tekisui. He was nine years old, and his job was to take care of the elder monks. One of his primary jobs was to prepare the bath for the monks. So one day he had prepared the bath, and an older monk came by, put his toe into the bath, and said, Tekasui, it's too hot. Can you please add some water? So there was no running water, so Tekasui had to run all the way down to the well, take a bucket of water, bring it all the way back, and then he began to pour it into the bath. Then the old monk says, Now it's just right. Thank you so much, Tekasui. So Tekasui was relieved too. He let out a sigh, he wiped his head, and then he took the bucket with the remaining water and tossed it to the side. The old monk said to Tekasui, what are you doing? And Tekasui responded, well, the water was just right, so I threw the water away. Then the old monk said, Tekasui, if you give that water to a tree, the tree will be happy, and the water will be happy. If you just throw the water away, the tree will be sad, and the water will be sad. 
This story represents the spirit of Motainai. If you throw the water away, the tree will be sad, the water will be sad. Each drop of water is unique. It has its own life. It has its own value. It's thought that it doesn't have a body. Motainai is the dynamic expression of life. It is also a reminder to us of the deep connection that we have to the life and the world around us. And so that day that Daniel Shoning found that piece of paper discarded in the corner, he picked it up, he took it to his office, he folded it into an origami animal, and then it had a new life. He then wrote a short poem onto that paper, and again it had a new life. More life was added to this paper because of Denyo. On this day of Ohigan, let us celebrate the beginning of spring. Let us be reminded that we are receiving so very much from the world around us, and that each and everything has a life of its own, and to be grateful for that connection that we have with those lives. Please join me in Gasho. Namu Amidabuts. Namu Amidabuts. Namu Amidabuts.